Genre, Expository Earth and its Neighbors Galileo studied the sky with a telescope he built. If the sun could talk, it might say, Look at me, look at my sunspots, I am so hot. Without the sun, Earth would be a cold, dark planet. How do we know this? Thanks to the astronomer Galileo, we know a lot about the sun and the rest of our solar system. Telescopes, looking up. Galileo did not invent the telescope. However, 400 years ago, he did build one that was strong enough to study the sky. When Galileo looked into space, he saw the rocky surface of the moon. When he looked at the sun, he discovered spots on its fiery surface. The moon is Earth's closest neighbor. Astronomy, or the study of space, began with the simple telescope. But astronomers wanted to look at the sky more closely. They made bigger telescopes that could see further than the one Galileo used. Astronomers still had many questions. Satellites, a step closer. In 1958, scientists launched Explorer 1, the first American satellite, into space. It was an exciting day for America. Soon, many satellites circled the globe and took photographs of Earth, the Moon, stars, and other planets. They collected a large amount of information. Satellites even tracked the temperature on the planet Saturn. Scientists have learned many things about the solar system from satellites. That's why they kept sending more into space. Soon, there were hundreds of satellites in space making amazing discoveries, but astronomers wanted to know even more. That's why they found a way to put a man on the moon. Explorer 1 takes off. One Giant Leap In 1961, Alan Shepard became America's first astronaut. He blasted off into space in a rocket, and then turned around and came back to Earth. His short trip was a big success. Shepard's flight proved that people could go into space. After Shepard, more astronauts went into space. Some orbited the Earth. Some walked on the dusty, bumpy surface of the moon. They took pictures and collected moon rocks. Astronauts wanted to answer some important questions. Did the sun's warmth heat the moon? Could the moon support life someday? Astronaut Edwin Buzz Aldrin walks toward the lunar module. Aldrin left his footprints on the moon. Aldrin brought home this moon rock. Scientists studied the photographs and moon rocks that the astronauts brought back. They made exciting discoveries using telescopes and satellites, but it wasn't enough. Scientists wanted to get closer to the other planets. Soon they found a way. Hubble and Beyond Scientists created another telescope, but this time it was gigantic. They sent it up into space. The Hubble Space Telescope was launched in 1990. It's still up there and orbits the Earth above the clouds. It takes clear, close-up photographs of stars and planets. It sends fascinating information back to Earth. The Hubble helps scientists study Earth and its neighbors. It also helps astronomers see planets outside our solar system. It takes the Hubble telescope 96 minutes to orbit the Earth. More discoveries every day. Scientists are still asking questions about Earth and its neighbors in space. With the help of satellites, telescopes, and astronauts, they will continue to explore and find answers. What can we see? With our eyes, with a simple telescope, with the Hubble telescope. With our eyes, the moon. With a simple telescope, 
Craters on the Moon With the Hubble Telescope, Planets Outside Our Solar System With Our Eyes, the Sun With a Simple Telescope, Sunspots With the Hubble Telescope, Stars Bigger Than the Sun and Far, Far Away With Our Eyes, Mars With a Simple Telescope, Clouds Around Jupiter with the Hubble Telescope, Jupiter's Surface. This is a Hubble Telescope photo of an exploding star.